This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Shock MSNBC says this was most accurate Trump tweet ever and they're dead right. As Republican electors went to cast their votes for Donald Trump in the Electoral College on Monday, they had already undergone over a month of abuse from liberals who were trying to intimidate them. The media paid only passing attention to this phenomenon of elector abuse, and Donald Trump was sick of the double standard. In a Monday tweet, the president-elect went after the people issuing death threats to electors in states like Michigan and Pennsylvania, pointing out that if his supporters had done the same thing if Democrat nominee Hillary Clinton had won, there would be an outcry. And not only that, but the panel on MSNBC's Morning Joe seemed to agree wholeheartedly with him. The Morning Joe panel on Monday, including Game Change author Mark Halperin, totally agreed with the sentiment. That's the truest Trump tweet I think ever, Halperin said. This will be a divisive day rather than a day where we have a constitutionally mandated moment, that people who voted for Trump will be very happy about. It's great for people to try to speak out and affect the electors, that's their constitutional right, Halperin added but to threaten violence or make claims about their responsibilities," he said, trailing off. Panel member Mike Barnicol agreed. In terms of the accuracy, if Trump supporters had done this and Hillary Clinton had won, I mean, we in the media would continue to be crushing his supporters," Barnicol said. Watch this segment here. And these weren't just minor threats, either. In Pennsylvania, Electors reported getting thousands of emails a day, some with death threats, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. It was bad enough that each of the 20 electors in Pennsylvania ended up with a plainclothes police guard. I'm a big boy, said elector Ash Care. But this is stupid. Nobody is standing up and telling these people, enough, knock it off. The Detroit News reported that Michigan electors faced similar problems. You have people saying you are a hateful bigot, I hope you die, Elector Michael Bainerian said. I've had people talk about shoving a gun in my mouth and blowing my brains out. And I've received dozens and dozens of those emails. Even the non-threatening my life emails are very aggressive. This is the kind of behavior that liberals are taking part in, and yet they expect us to believe that it's really the Trump supporters who are the violent and divisive ones. Absolutely ridiculous. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you agree the people who are threatening electors need to be cracked down on. What do you think should happen to Democrats who threaten the lives of electors? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.